Hey, it's the Chief Bonding with Board Games. I normally do not start out with the shipping carton, the crate, the cardboard box, but Cool Mini or Not has gotten so professional with their logistics that I wanted to show this. Now, you may hear my dog click clacking around. Sorry, but it is what it is. So first of all, I am going to show you the box, their logo, their, their statement, their sticker. And then let me just turn it. We've got clearly made in China and they've got this whole deal. Here's my pledge number, one of two. Yes, I got two and I got everything in it, baby. All right, but very cool stuff that it's tied in, where it's going. They've got my name, they've got everything in here and it corresponds with everything up here as well. Let me lean in and show you guys kind of what they did on the inside here. I may even need to, yeah, I think we can get it. I'll tilt it up and back. But this is what I'm talking about. Everything's designed and packaged nicely, perfectly, safely, that I'm going to actually show you some of the things in box here. So pardon me as we pull some things out and we take a look. Um, it's like an unboxing and an unboxing. So we've got the fifth player expansion, great. All right, cool. We're protecting the game box. All right, we've got, again, fifth player extras. Whoop. Sorry, my lighting's kind of poor at this point. Let me set this down. We've got the Ragnarok pack. Obviously, we'll be opening this in a little bit. I did get the hardbound art book and both my copies. Let's see. Let's just flip to a single page. Gorgeous. Oh, Lordy. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, the base game, Eric Lang's base game here. Look how thick this thing is. All right, thick with minis. Obviously, great art. We'll be coming back to that. And again, I'm going to show you just the detail, the protection to keep this box, keep this box from shifting around. So um, let me cut. I'll get this out of the way and we'll start looking at the individual components. All right, now to the unboxing after we've gone through the unpackaging. Studio McVeigh, Cool Mini or Not, Eric Lang. All right. Oh, good, good, good. Look at this lovely Viking. Lovely. Come back out, flip this around. I'll show you the uh, back so you can see kind of what we're dealing with there. Sorry for glare. Whoop. That's what we're going to be headed into. And just, wow. So, let's get this off. Thickness, I mean, wow. Typical, I mean, Cool Mini really knows how to do their layouts. Um, just professionally done, beautifully, beautifully placed. Again, everything I'm unboxing, I just can't wait to get in a review. And as some of you know, my work schedule, hello, busy. Kids stuff, busy. Parent-teacher conferences, and then we like to come in and play games. So I don't even really watch TV anymore unless I'm sitting down and like binge watching the fifth season of The Walking Dead. Hello, talk about The Walking Dead. My goodness. Big old rock chucker. Is he all sunk into the snow? He's got little nubby legs. Okay. End of the game. Oh my, oh my. I may, we'll have to see. If I've got this down enough, I would love to take this to BGG. All right, what do we got? Uh, individually shrink wrapped um, player aid cards. Let me get these out real quick. Do it without damaging, but I will rock the camera, baby. Rock the camera. Coming around, BGG. I'm gonna be there. That is the one con I can pretty much guarantee I'm going to. 
All right, the busy time is over at work. The summer is crazy, so I'm always ready for my break. It does occur during my wife's birthday. She is not always thrilled with that, but she is accommodating. All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like some player boards, wolf, serpent, raven, the bear. Very impressive. First age, second age, third age, two, and Valhalla. When your troops die, I do believe they go here, which isn't always bad. Sometimes it's what you want, my understanding. All right, we got some little uh, Hobbit cards. Boop, I'm not gonna go through all these. We'll leave them as they are here, but uh, kind of that typical actually feel like they're even a little bit smaller than the uh, zombie side cards, but maybe that's just me and my huge hands. Again, working in the art. Let's see what we got here. Where's my opener? Oh my. Lordy, lordy, lordy. They've gotten real good through zombie side, by the way. I mean, they're everything from labeling to how they will stack these guys to maximize space. And I got to tell you, um, nothing against putting minis together. It's just not my thing. So when these guys come fully fleshed out and I don't have to put them all together, I'm telling you, that's what I'm talking about. So holy moly, I don't even want to see that. Let's see here. What's underneath? Look at this. Wow. My goodness, the detail's astonishing. Hold on, for those that wanted to see the loincloth covering the butt. <laughs> Someone out there would be like, he didn't show the, the figure as good as he should have. And now I can't get it back in there. Oh my. Okay, maybe that's how it was. All right, here's that little giant we saw. Uh, he does have some kind of weird legs. All right, he's got some weird legs, but boy, does he have an upper body trap here. Woo, throwing a rock at you. A rock chucker. Yeah, okay, that's exactly how the sword goes. So we've got all this air protecting it. Wow. Impressive. Again, I'm going to geek out even on the packaging. I mean, you got to be kidding me. I can get all that back in there easy. No problem. Everything's gorgeous. We're going to get these out of the way. All right, and let's see what we got in here. Ooh, loving it. Loving it. Blood rage. Here we go, baby. Oh, Lordy. All right. These are your little bases that will go, uh, they'll clip in around uh, the base of the fig so that uh, you can tell who's who. And wow, check out the ships already coming with their deal. Let's pull out. Well, I always play red. Ooh, wow. Nice. All right. Let's do one at a time here. Hold on. All right, I'm not going to pull these out, and I know you're not able to see some of the details, so let me try this. Wow. You know, I mean, you know, they show you all the photos, kind of even as you're doing the stretch goals, um, but I am never disappointed when the real thing shows up. Like I said, uh, where we're coming with miniatures is just unbelievable to me. I never really, I never got into miniature games, really. Um, and then Cool Mini comes along and just starts knocking it out of the park here. So, just the details astounding to me. I have a hard time playing with like any game that has cardboard standees. Uh, to me, I'm just looking at this saying, wow. Um, so, boom. All right, we'll put those back in later. Huge, chunky, double-sided, all right. Uh, popping out, no problem. You're not going to have any tears. Um, production, they know exactly what they're doing. And we've got the board, which is kind of countersunk. So hold on, hold on. All right. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. All right, board's not huge. Um, it's actually more square shaped rather than uh, like a rectangle. Um, I don't know, I thought it would be a little bigger, but I'm not disappointed at all. It does everything it needs to do. Let me come on over top and I'll give you a little zoom in. 
So you can see some of the detail here. So you can just see, I mean, plenty of room for the figures to uh, be placed on and for you to kind of get a feel of everything that's going on in gameplay. All right, there you go, Blood Rage. I'm going to uh, stop this video because it's already running fairly long. I'm going to come back and I'll individually kind of show all the extras that came with this as I open each of them. And I'm going to try to do a little link that'll show up over here or something that'll let you just link over to that. Chief, bonding with board games, Blood Rage. I got a feeling there'll be some Blood Rage going on at BGG. The good kind. See you guys. Bye. Don't forget the Scotch tasting I'm running. No Blood Rage there. Thursday, 7 p.m. I think it's the 19th. Mm -hmm.